Hey guys, this is Dog MC. And am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Hey guys, this is Dog MC. And today I'm going to show you eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Build hacks to turn the world's worst house, which is um, that one, into world's best house. No, maybe not world's best house, but a good house. Not such a bad house. So let's start off with build hack number one. Use a door instead of a trap door. So if you see someone using trap doors for doors, you can do the favor and replace the trap doors with a door just like that. Yep. Yeah. So there you have it, very nice. And if you are very interested in it, you can also place a bell above there so that you can come and ring it if you want. Number two, let's go inside the high ceiling. Have a high ceiling, just please don't have a two block tall ceiling. If you see someone having a house with a two block tall ceiling, break it. Take it a three or a four block tall ceiling. It makes the house look so much nicer and neater. So, you know. The next one is um, the one where you see the window corner. These corners are extremely bad. Ah, uh, the brick stand is a bit in the way. Um, so, if you see that, just break it. Break the glass on the corner and uh, replace it with an extent. If you are too bothered about it, you can also replace the nearby windows with blanks. So then you have this nice house. Next one. Uh, if you have a small house such as this, use barrels instead of chests. That, so that they provide you more space. So you can just place these like so. And then you'll have more space than ever. You can also just... you Then you'll have more space than ever. For the exact same space, also... Don't forget to pl don't place barrels near the window, so I, I suggest a mix, something like this. I'll do. Next one. If you're having such a small home, but one bed isn't enough. So, if you want to take it up one level, use slabs and beds to make a bunk bed, like so. A two-thick wall is just what we need. Dig out a hole in the wall like this. Hollow wall. Place a bed. And don't place blocks anything here. Place a slab. Because if you do place beds here, yeah, they should happen. But if you, you, you do, you do this. That's strange. If you do that, then... Your bed is obstructed, you can't sleep in it. So, place slabs up there, and then you won't be obstructed. Also, place slabs up there, and remember to not place any blocks here or here, then, or this bed. Oh, place any, don't place anything here or there, or yeah, that that's what will happen. So, just to rem. Just a friendly reminder, leave these and have a good night's sleep. Oh yeah, and also if you are if you can't climb like that, just go to sleep like this. Another thing about the interior. If you have a bunch of these stuff lying around, push them to a corner, like you can you can use this contraption if you don't want to break the. Why can't you push a grindstone? You can either do that, or 
or you can just place these on each spot. It just saves so, so much space. Oh, I didn't mean to put the fur in the stuff. Much better. Oh. So, yeah. And now, when you have such a nice home inside, you... Oh, let's just go outside to see... Um... How we go there. Have you ever planted sweet berries outside? How many times have you died to them? Like, look at how painful they are. Slash game... Oh, come on. Load game, please. Slash game mode. S, just look. I'm just gonna wait, and now. Look at how painful these kids are. Ah, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna, gonna die. They're so painful. So, when in survival, place trap doors on top of them so that you can not just you don't take damage on them or nearby of them. You can't uh, there's some walk accidentally into them and you can also jump over them. Which makes trap doors the perfect solution to stop you getting damage from sweet berries just by closing the trap doors. Next one. Uh, I'm also going to stay in smile for this one. Have you ever seen these wide block, wide pathways? They are so bad I'm going back into creative mode. So I'll fix them by just making these pathways to one or two blocks thicker. They are way, way, way better. And they also look much better. And this is the last one. Have you ever seen these hedges? Like hedges, like, like hedges. Um, I would suggest putting them not just around your house, but also on your house, which means just just put stairs up here. Oh, so that put st put stairs up here to make. <coughs> Sorry for that. To make your house look much, just much better. And if you want to ask me for that, I'm the pro at all of these things. Much better. Oh yeah, and if you want to go even better, make an actual hedge around your house. Like that. Leave one or two blocks between the hedge and the house. So, so you have a bit of space to build. And if you want more space, you can of course leave more. And with that... I think our best house is done. And the, the last thing. Subscribe to Dog MC. Just subscribe. Subscribe. What do I have to do to make you subscribe? Is it that I have to put Mojang banner patterns onto the side of this hedge? I can do it. Just look at me go. Sooner or later, there's not going to be any intruders anymore in this house, right? See that? And if you want me to make another idea to this house, like these Mojang banner patterns on the side of the hedge, <coughs> Sorry for that. Then tell me in the comments because I can also put them on the roof. Oh, that, that looks horrible. I can also put them on the roof and I can also just slash fill. I can also fill 
the whole entire world with these buttons. Buttons. I'm not actually gonna. I'm not with these buttons. I'm not actually gonna do, do it. But please subscribe. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna really make every single one of your ideas in this house. Either, either if it's filling the whole house with these banners, or it's making the whole house out of quartz. You can tell me anything for it in the comments, and then, and with that, see you next time, and subscribe to Dog and Sea Gaming, my channel.